This lesson is on classifying quadrilaterals. The goal is to define and classify quadrilaterals. The standard is geometry, congruence number 11, and geometry, similarity, right triangles and trig number 5. Alright, first we're going to look at classifying quadrilaterals by properties. And we are going to start with classifying them uh, classifying a rectangle. Now a rectangle has four right triangles and it also has opposite sides of equal lengths. So these two sides would be the same length and those two sides would be the same length. They would not necessarily be the same length but a rectangle always has four right angles. A square has four right angles and all four sides are the same length. Next is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides and opposite sides are equal. So the top and bottom are parallel, the left and right are parallel, a parallelogram, you can think of it as being a rectangle with no right angles. So if you had a rectangle and it was leaning over, that would be a parallelogram. And in a minute, I'm going to show you that a rectangle is also considered a parallelogram. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. So a rhombus has all the sides the same length. So a rhombus is like a square that has no right angles. So again, a square is also a rhombus. A trapezoid has only two sides that are parallel. It has four sides, but only two sides that are parallel. They're not necessarily the same length, these two sides are not necessarily the same length, so as long as you just have two sides that are parallel, but if you have four sides, it is a trapezoid. And the final quadrilateral is called a kite. Kind of looks like what you would fly in the air. It has two pairs of adjacent sides. Adjacent means right next to each other, and they are the same length. So these two are the same length, and those two are the same length. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds of quadrilaterals. And you're going to want to refer to back to this when you look at your assignment today. This question asks, what name best describes this polygon? Well, if you look at this polygon, you will notice that this side and that side have two hash marks. This side and this side have one hash mark. That means they are the same length. There are no right angles. So based upon properties, this would be a parallelogram because the sides, opposite sides are equal. And I have the choices are rhombus, rectangle, square, parallelogram. Well, I have no right angles, so it would not be a rectangle. It would not be a square. A rhombus has four equal sides, therefore leaving the only logical choice of being a parallelogram. Now we're going to look at classifying quadrilaterals by family tree. If you start up at the top of a family tree, all four-sided polygons are quadrilateral. Now, a quadrilateral can sometimes be a trapezoid. It can sometimes be a parallelogram, and it can sometimes be a kite. Notice there are three kinds of quadrilaterals, trapezoids, parallelograms, and kites. Under trapezoids, a trapezoid can either be just a plain trapezoid or it sometimes could be an isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid has two sides that are 
the same length. A kite is just a kite. You will only have one kind of a kite with adjacent sides being the same length. Under parallelograms, you have four kind of parallelograms. You have a parallelogram where opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are the same length. Now, a parallelogram could be a rhombus where all four sides are the same length, or a parallelogram could be a rectangle where all four sides are all four angles are a right angle. And if it's a rhombus, it could also be a square where all the sides are the same length and you have four right angles. And if it's a rectangle, it could be a square where you have four right angles, but all the sides are the same length. So if you're coming down the tree, you could say sometimes, sometimes quadrilateral could be a trapezoid, sometimes it could be a parallelogram, sometimes it could be a kite. But if I'm starting at the bottom with a square, a square is always a rhombus. A square is always a rectangle. A square is always a parallelogram. A rectangle is always a quadrilateral. A kite is always a quadrilateral. So if you're going down the tree, it's sometimes. If you're going up the tree, it's always. If it's on a whole different branch, it's never. A kite can never be a trapezoid. A parallelogram can never be a kite. A square is never a trapezoid. A rhombus is never a kite. So keep that in mind today when you're doing your um, when you're doing your assignment. Sometimes going down, always going up, never if it crosses the line. This question says, which terms describe this polygon? Choose all that apply. So I'm going to look at these. Well, I know it's not a trapezoid, and I know it's not a kite, so it has to fall under a parallelogram. It is not a rhombus, because it, all four sides are not the same length. But it is a rectangle, because it does have four right angles, and of course it has four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. So this shape is a parallelogram, a rectangle, and a quadrilateral. So you should be ready to tackle this assignment. If you don't get it, get ready to watch the video again. If you sort of get it or you got it, go ahead and start today's assignment. You need to master this assignment to get a 100. 90 or above, you get your actual score. Don't even see me if you haven't made uh, a 80 to a 90. And if you're so good you can teach this, you ought to be pretty good at it and be able to master it in pretty good time. And good luck. Farewell. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Good night.